Hello, and welcome back to the Cashmere Goat podcast. It has been a little minute. Yes, hi. <laughs> and I'm Iris. And I'm Kristen. Welcome. And we are happy to have you back, and we've got a lot to cover today. Um, first of all, let's talk about what Kristen's wearing, because look at this beautiful Anchors summer shirt. I finished my Anchor Summer shirt this weekend and I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. I love how it fits. Um, I love the yarn and I want to make another one. It's a great pattern. So it goes quick. It goes pretty quick. I, I, um, I kind of get bored sometimes during stockinette as you will probably notice later. Um, <laughs> but um, I pursue, I per persevered persevered I persevered and I pursued it you pursued well, the finish line I did I did I didn't let myself start anything else so um so very happy with it and I didn't wear mine because it's a kind of gray cool yeah. day so I'll be wearing it um at our meetup on Sunday yeah. and probably lots of other times mm -hmm. lots of other times and today I'm wearing my ranunculus this is a pattern by I should have reminded myself of her name. Ranunculus. Ranunculus. It's Ranunculus. It's the Ranunculus sweater. And what's super fun about it is there's so many different ways to customize it. And right now I am wearing it with an undershirt because I was cold. Um, but this is so super soft because I used, um, I held together one strand of um, on the round plush single in colorway blue muscle. And I held that together with a strand of cashmere dreams um, in white and so it's just this like so so super soft it feels so good when I wear it against my bare skin it has a little bit of a lacy yoke but not too lacy because I don't love making lace knitting and the yeah. pattern is from Midori Hi Hiroshi I think maybe that's how you say it Thank it's you. on Ravelry. I just looked it up real quick. Cause. And there's so many. It's a great pattern to work with. There's a lot of modifications you can make. Longer sleeves, um, lighter weight and more drapey fit or like worsted weight. I mean, it's amazing. And the pattern includes many different body shapes and types of yarns. And if you look at the picture that is the first picture that's with the pattern, like I saw that picture and was like, I would never make that sweater. And then my one of my reps, Andra, uh, brought it up, and we had it last year here for a little while. She did Cashmere Dreams Held Double, and it was one of those. The 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 it was like the girl with the traveling pants sweater. It it was like it fit everybody who tried it on, skinny, not so skinny. It it just like tall, short. It just seemed to work on all of us. And I was like, oh, I want to make one of these sweaters, so. It's a gorgeous sweater, and the one we had here looks nothing like that one. And this one's also very soft. Mm. I did gorgeous pictures of Iris last fall oh, when um, she finished with this. It was really, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's what we're wearing. That's what we're wearing, and today we have a special, special treat for you <laughs> because you know, some of you have heard us talk about how much we love a knitting bag and love different things to hold our knitting projects. And, you know, to the uninitiated, you might have had the question like, do you really need another knitting bag, Kristen? <laughs> and our answer is always yes, because yes. we have a lot of projects we and do. we need bags to put them in. Yep. So yep. we're going to do a little project show and tell. And yeah. Kristen's going first. <laughs> So I have a wide assortment. I, I'm not quite sure where to start. Um, I have a lot of unfinished projects and I've mentioned this before to, if you've been in the store and I'm trying to have no shame about it. I tell other people there's no shame and I, as a store owner I'm always feeling like I should be knitting something else and without finishing and so I'm going to start with my store projects for our knit alongs. Um, that seems to make sense. So last year during October, we did Socktober and it was pretty loosely based and we just gathered and we all knit socks of different patterns and types. And uh, it was a lot of fun and um, it wasn't exactly a knit along. It was more like a meetup, but we had a lot of fun with it and great participation. 
And I was like, well, I'm used to doing socks on five needles, double points. So I'm going to do a pair of those and I'm going to do a pair um, it, it, with ma magic loop, which I'd never done before. I've done magic loop a little bit, never done a magic loop sock. So I started with that. And so this is as far as I got. This is, this is my magic loop start of a sock. And that is in Rebel. Uh, it's nimble sock on the round. And then I started with my, um, I this is a unique sock and it was a special colorway that sold out instantly. Um, it was, uh, uh, Gigi, Gigi made it, um, sponsored pattern from unique sock. And, um, so I actually finished one. So I completed one whole sock. Yay. And of course it's the, it's the, um, double points cause that's what I'm used to. So, but those have been sitting there, you know, since the end of October. Um, and then when we started our knit along in January, our very first official knit along of the Ramona, I chose this gorgeous yarn called Chris, K-R-I-S. And this is the state of my Ramona. It is, it is almost, I'm just like, I almost just need to do a few more rows and then cast off. You can see the, um, the border is mostly done and then do the arms. There's really not that much and it's bulky yarn. I can finish this and I will. And it's so <laughs> soft, that yarn. And this is in a Scout and Bean Harvest bag, which I love speaking of bags because it's a little grubby, sorry about that. But um, gets used. I like I like a bag that has hard edges so that it protects it because I kind of throw my knitting around. And this is this is my ancient. Some those of you who've known me forever. This is my sock box that I've used for over twenty years and repaired more than once. Um, somebody gave this to me when I worked at Unique One. And um, it's on its last legs. It's been repaired a couple times and I love it because I can like literally throw it around because I had a problem with wooden needles and I would break them because I just shoved my knitting on. So those are the store ones. Oh, and there's one more. <laughs> um, and this is my, this is my shift. So I stopped in the middle of the row, apparently, so which beautiful. is my, what I tell everybody not to do. Um, so that's my shift. It's coming along and mm. I love it. It was the marled. Yeah. I used, um, I used to be, uh, marled by fully spun. I used some Malabrigo and ivory. And I use the Lowland La by DeGilpin, um, which is, a, this one's a little bit heavier, heavier. It's a sport um, and it is so soft. Um, so that will eventually get finished. Um, that's the beginning. Um, so yeah, those are the store ones. And then I guess I'll go <laughs> and I feel a little ridiculous. This is probably the oldest one here. And this is, I think it's about 12 years old now, 11 or 12 years. This is um, Rowan Kid Silk Haze Stripe, I think it's mm. called, and it doesn't exist anymore. Can I hold it up? Um, it's gorgeous. It's super soft. It's featherweight. Um, and I really could cast off but I have this much left of two colors and that seems like such a waste, especially since it's this color green. I mean, I probably need to finish it. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that one. And I love it. Just need to finish it. It's so pretty and, and super soft. And in between the Socktober and the Ramona, I started a, um, dash sweater for the store for a store sample and this is the bottom of the sweater and so 
so pretty. I just need to finish it. <laughs> it's really gorgeous. Um, and I have a sleeve too. Mm. So I have that, and that is in a Scout and Bean bucket. Um, and then oh, a <laughs> oh 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 a, a year. Well, last year, the beginning of 2022, I started my um, temperature blanket. Oh so these gosh. are all for my temperature blanket. I'm just holding it up because it's so incredible. It feels so good. These. This is made out of Chow by Jody Long. Really, really And this soft. is crocheted with a linen stitch. This is a Tony Lipsy pattern. Tony Lipsy, who was on Fiberside Chat. Yes, she's an amazing crocheter, has an amazing We've got uh, a great YouTube channel. book by her as well. Yes. Mm. Um, oh. And so, and that is a temperature blanket. Here's my little um, key. Um, so, and that one I am not beating myself up on. I, I really love it. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing another square. It doesn't take me that long. Um, I've just have a lot of other things. Is each square one month? Yes. So okay. each square is a month. So like you can do the first 15 days in a really short period of time. But and then it slows down a little, but you know, I could if I really wanted to, I could finish this this month. And you're just going back to the temperature data that exists for yeah, that there, year. Yeah, there's a and Tony Lipsy goes into it. She has a whole blog post about it and she has YouTube videos about it. It's the linen stitch temperature blanket and she um she goes to weather underground and historical data oh, nice. and i i used an average temperature a lot of people do it differently but and i have all of my yarn in this gorgeous hohi locatelli bag this is the chow that um is in that blanket so, so beautiful um I will get back to that. And then I have another crochet project. Also, I mean, I, I, I think of, I have different projects because there's certain projects that become unwieldy. The Absolutely. temperature blanket is really nice because it's modular. So it if is. you were going on a little trip somewhere and like you didn't want to bring a sweater that's in yep. process, that's a perfect choice. It is. And I have done that actually. I, I took it on a trip last year and got several squares done. Um, last so last year was my year to like really learn to master crochet and i decided i wanted a sweater and i decided that in july and i found a sweater and this is the bottom of it um and you can see it's sort of like my husband was joking saying oh you could catch a lot of fish with that <laughs> and um it's made out of puma soft it's incredibly soft it's incredibly fun but you can crochet too much and give yourself an injury because that's what I did. So I didn't do much at the end of July. I stopped knitting and crocheting for over a month because oh. I'd hurt my shoulder from over crocheting. So I'm going to that one is coming soon that I'm going to go back to. Oh, and I should say this bag is from one of my customers. It's gorgeous. Oh, Barbara Bittner made me this bag. So pretty. Look at the inside. It's a mushroom. Mushroom. Let's make sure you can really see that. And there's oh, even um, little there's even embroidery on the outside. It's a really oh, nice it's bag. Beautiful. So hmm. lots of bags. Um, oh, and that one. This so this is the embarrassing one. <laughs> so yes, um, I had a. Yeah, this is really embarrassing. None of you have projects that look like this, right? I hope. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to make something out of Cairns, which everybody was making those bags out of, that I wanted to do a lightweight summer sweater. And I, re I used a really big needle, as you can see. Oh, these are 13s. Mm. And it's worsted yarn, technically. It's like a tape. And so it's... It um, knit up really quickly. I love the way it looks. Um, and then I put it away. And I also started making a hat for a sample um, of the Merino Plus um, colorway. And because um, it's gorgeous. And my um, one of my employees did the same thing. So 
match with the same exact color. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, mm. I don't need to worry about that. And then they got stuck in a bag and we have some yarn some, spaghetti. Yeah, mm. that needs a little detangling, a little love. Um, and I don't know if I should finish this. Should she finish it? Should Open I finish question. this? Open question. Should I figure out the pattern for this and finish this and turn it into, mm. it's like meant to be like an open drapey mm -hmm. cardigan sweater to wear over like a um, sleeveless top. I think that would be beautiful. Um, so you're making that pattern up. Yeah. yeah. In, which is, yeah, in my spare time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, oh. Mm. Oh, there's wow. one more thing that I'm leaning on. And, <laughs> oops. There we go. This is <gasps> a beautiful piece. I wish you could feel it. Yes. Um, See, it's this, like squish, 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 squish. So I don't know if anybody might recognize what this could be. Um, but um, there was that Sex in the City reboot a couple years ago. And the main character had a blanket that everybody went crazy for. And so I was trying to replicate that and I was gonna make a kit. And this is as far as I got. So, I don't so know. it sort of fits around you. Are there like it's just simple like a sleeve? Blanket, yeah. Really? It's just like a fat shawl mm -hmm. mm -hmm. blanket. It's not sleeves, you know. And in the show they show her sitting in the chair with it on her and you know it, it it's it's um it's beautiful it's soft it's merino what, it goes um, super fast how, what are these these are 17s so and your yarn and the yarn is it's not a yarn that i currently i mean i do have enough to make a blanket probably a couple blankets but it's not in the computer or anything it's Godifra Godifra her Paraluna Colore, and it's like a extra super bulky. It's maybe a seven. Um, and it's like nice, really nice wool, non-muslin, Peruvian wool, um, designed in Tuscany. And I love the dye. I love the speckle. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, you know, give me your opinion. Let me know what you think I should do with this. Should and she make a kit? Should I do a kit? Should I thing? try to cont follow the pursue this? I have gotten pretty far on it. Should I pursue this? <laughs> like, could you make it so that like there was just one oh. little stitch sort of tacking one corner down, so you could just like put your arms oh, through? Look? That looks very That's pretty cozy. comfortable <laughs> for a cool spring main day. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of funny. Love it. Um, so yeah, that's me and my unfinished projects. I do have others too. Um, and yeah, but that's enough for now. And I think like these are the ones that I'm probably going to finish. Well, my other ones are probably really old and I, I don't know that I have a ton of them. Um, but so that's that for my, and what about you? Do you have any? Wait, you know what we forgot to mention is... What? next weekend do we want to say something now oh right right we did forget to mention next yeah. weekend so we have a little um this coming weekend friday saturday sunday is um it's uh what's it called camden, camden is, is blooming. blooming and so we have a little sidewalk sale out front and um i'm going to be putting some clearance yarns out there at a really good price i'll also put them online um and that'll be friday morning at 11 and they'll go all weekend and then um we're gonna have more of a sale than that so yeah. pay attention to your emails Yay. and see what's coming okay so i didn't I didn't, I didn't remember, I, as you were talking, I remembered I have one of my Socktober socks in process at home. You Forgot to bring it. Um, but it's great because I was smart enough to finish turning the heel, so now I just have to do the leg, <laughs> which so is easy. so easy. That's yeah. like an afternoon at the beach right. or something. Or once again, a travel project. A travel project, yeah. yes. And you know what, I bought myself some of those really short little needles. Oh, you did? Because I want to try them. Good. I've never, Good. I'm, I'm a oh, magic yeah, yeah. looper but I've never tried the shorty needles, you know, the ones that are nine or 12 inches diameter. Yep. So that's going to be fun. Okay, so 
I'm going to introduce you to my morning project. My morning knitting project is, this is a sweater for my husband. It is the Gib by Andrea Mowry, and it is knit in Cumbria, which is um, by Fiber Company. Yeah, beautiful, and the colorway is black back, and I don't, it's so dark that this is my morning project only. And I am just at the place with this project where I'm like miles and miles of the stitch pattern ahead of yep. me. Yep. And um, it's dark, so I really, I know the stitch pattern now. I'm pretty good at like seeing if I've made a mistake, but it's a knit one purl three stitch pattern, which is actually a lot of purling. Like, why didn't I put that together when I was looking at the <laughs> pattern? Uh, you could ask that. And it as- It feels great it though. It feels so and it, good. And it looks great. And this black back is, um, it's like a dark marl. And it looks just like dark, but then when you look close to it, it you it, can see the colors. It has like this incredible teal halo because there's that little bit of mohair. Yes. So I love it, which is great because there was some time around the shoulders when I was like putting in rows and taking yeah. them out, yeah. like maybe three or four times, like inches of this little we had a little yeah. we had a few issues a few issues so that's morning knitting only because i can't trust myself at night with that project um okay so this project which maybe you saw on uh a reel a little while ago Kristen took a reel of me trying on you're um, so far yeah i'm getting so far trying on a sample that we had of the scudic bay cardigan by Birch Tree Knits, yep. Alice Dunn. Alice Dunn Smith, Smith, who's a friend of ours and a um, newer designer who is really good at what she does. She's really good. And, and oh, we, we love it. It's beautiful. And um, I'm using Rebel by On the Round in plush DK. Yeah. And wait for this. I'm using a size nine needle. Yeah. And when I saw that yeah. in the pattern, I was like, wait, what? But it's incredible how soft and light this feels. When I tried on the sample, I just yeah. like put it on and it was just this like featherweight hug. So I'm yeah. loving this. And what's fun about it is it's going lickety split and it's an open front cardigan. So I'm coming up to the top of the back and then I'll put the back stitches on a holder and um, get started on some of my fronts. And then the final one that I brought is a little brioche hat that I'm working up in Malabrigo worsted. This is natural as the white and Rosalinda as the uh, furrows and the pink. And then you can see more of that Rosalinda on the inside. And I'm, I'm developing a pattern as I go. Um, getting ready to be at the crown, so that'll be exciting. Yes. I've got some ideas. Yes, yes. Um, but I think we're gonna do a beginner brioche class. How exciting is that? Mm -hmm. So stay tuned on that too. Yeah, so we have had a lot of, we have, we have a lot a going lot. on. And that leads us to uh, our, well, a lot of people have asked if we're gonna, what we're gonna do for our next knit along and are they gonna have to wait till September or October? And we thought a lot about it. We talked about it. We talked with people on Sundays and we are going to do a finish it along, which clearly I need. Is there any else among you who need that as well? Um, and that will be Sundays in the shop. Um, not sure the start date yet. We have to figure out the details. We'll probably give ourselves a few weeks off after, um, or at least a week off after the, um, knit along ends and the knit along the, the, um, Anchor summer shirt knit along and it's the last. I think it's some, May twenty eighth. Yeah, May twenty eighth. It is Memorial Day, but we're gonna have our last in store meetup that Sunday, and then the last Zoom is the thirty first. So that's actually you know the last, yeah. very last day of May. And um, what we're gonna do again is have folks send email to me your finished anchors if you've been in the knit along yeah. or maybe it's in process anchors yep. you know it's fine some we people just want to see what you're two. doing um and so i'm going to be putting those out in the email call for those pictures so yep. we'll have a really nice way to review all of the beautiful anchors that have been created and it's I, it is so fun to see like the same sweater and how 
people choose different yarns and different modifications and like I made my sleeves pretty short and just they just change it and make it their own and the yarn makes it look so different too and it's just so cool to see it come together totally. like her sweater which she's not wearing today but we'll have them on together at some point it yeah. looks radically different yeah. if you took a glance at us you wouldn't think we were wearing the same sweater mm -hmm. Um, Anchor has been a super fun one. And I finished! Yes! <laughs> yes. So finish it along. Let us know your opinions about that too. We really uh, want to know what you have to say if that's something you're looking for. And we're wondering about a Zoom yep. possibility. So we are. you can we, weigh in on that as well. We are. So lots of questions. Please mm -hmm. give us all your feedback. You can comment in the bottom. Um, you can give us a like. And always, if you're not, please subscribe. Do we have anything else? I think we covered a lot of ground we today. Did. We covered a lot of ground. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Yes, thank you so much. And uh, we'll have another episode here before too long. Before too long. So have a great day and give us all your opinions. We want them. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. <laughs>